my dad's Indian and my mom is Iranian, so technically I'm Pakistani. Thank you. <laughs> Not a scary brown, I'm just a hairy brown. Uh, <laughs> except for right here. God was very cruel when he came to picking where my hair goes. He was like, you know what, you're back. Super important. <laughs> Don't worry about this. I fly a lot. I don't uh, do anything scary when I go to the airport. <laughs> but I do like to see how far I can walk away from my luggage. <laughs> how you doing? You doing good? Wow, you got a lot of tattoos, huh? Do you have a favorite one? Oh, a little um, fire on your palm, huh? So when you jerk off, you give yourself herpes or something? <laughs> nice, good talking to you. <laughs> I didn't know the Memento here doesn't speak with words. Have you seen the movie Memento? Never seen it, huh? It's a movie backwards. He has to tattoo himself so he can remember. No, never seen it. What movies have you seen? A few? I haven't seen that one. I was on a plane recently and I uh, was not the scariest person on the plane. The pilot was. We were flying from Seattle down to Los Angeles, both American cities. I don't want to lose anybody. Halfway through the flight, pilot gets on the intercom and he goes... We're uh, going to have to land the plane in San Francisco. We're out of fuel. <laughs> That's all he said. That was the whole announcement. So nonchalant, like we just ran out of pretzels. <laughs> Immediately, the lady who was sitting next to me, she turns to me and goes, This is bullshit. The pilot is going to land the plane early. I have a connector. If he lands the plane in San Francisco, I'm going to miss my connecting flight. And this is going to ruin my entire day. <laughs> I turned back to her and I said, hey, the pilot just said that we're out of fuel. If he doesn't land the plane right now, you're going to miss the connection to the rest of your life. <laughs> 20 minutes later, though, pilot gets back on the intercom and he goes, <laughs> you know what? We're going to go for it. <laughs> With no confidence. We're going to go for it. Immediately, everybody on the plane, they started cheering for the pilot. They're like, yay! He's going to go for it! And that's the only time I ever thought about taking over a plane. Just cashing in all my brown points. <laughs> Bum rushing that cockpit. You just read the news the next day. Terrorist saves 200 lives. 